Hey guys, I'm gonna slouch down in a chair a little bit so y'all can see me. <laughs> Cause you know, professional YouTuber here and you're propped up on a cell phone stand, on my phone, on a box of wipes, uh, you know. Anyway, we are here for episode number four. Um, as I've said in the other episodes, we are just talking through my journey and my thinking about creating a creative space for yourself that has a really pleasing creative flow to the space. You can come in and you can be happy and you can be inspired. You don't want to walk in the door and go, oh crap, and turn around and leave. I know you all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> And I do think like some of my favorite channels, including My Great Challenge, um, and if you, I'm gonna link some channels down below, check them out. Um, it is something that you just have to do periodically. Once a year, every couple of years. You don't have to go crazy with it and do it once a month. But I think just revisiting things periodically. I know for me, when I feel like I maybe have a slump in creativity, uh, rearranging things in the art room um, help inspire me. Um, I'm getting to the point where it's more about really taking a look at the things that I've kept and not purged and really, really, really using up what I have and or getting rid of the things that I thought I should keep but I really don't want to. Today we're going to talk about making a cozy spot in your room. If you can if you can to just read and chill in your space. That's where I am right now. I can sit here and I can read an art book, I can read a tutorial book, I can watch some videos, I can do some crocheting. I sat here the majority of the time when I finished my sweater of many colors that's coming uh, as I'm filming this hasn't come out yet, but it's coming out soon. Um I even have, hold your shock, a portable DVD player here in the corner with some instructional DVDs on watercolor painting and stuff. I, I know. I'm not going to get rid of it because I do want to watch the DVDs and that's an easy way for me to do it. Um, it is great having this corner. I'm not going to lie. I love this. It's my new favorite space in the entire house. This corner. Are there things about it I need to change or fix? Yes. Right now it's a hot mess. There's like piles of stuff everywhere. Um, it's become a little hoarder corner sometimes. And there are things about it that aren't exactly right. I do also mostly eat my lunch up here, so I do have a garbage can right here, which is great. I also have a stack of books down here that I would like to read. And there's two downstairs because I keep taking them downstairs thinking maybe I'll read them more if I'm downstairs. I really, this is the place to read them. I just need to be able to get to them easier. So we need to work on that today. I also think I need to work on a couple of things. I don't know if I'm gonna do them today or not. Today, I'm, for the moment, I'm gonna focus on my calm space, my, my little corner, my little nook. Um, for me, that's not my chair at my desk in front of the computer because when I sit there, I think, oh, God, I've got to do computer stuff. I've got to edit video. I've got to do paperwork. Ugh. That's not relaxing for me. Um, this over here is relaxing for me. I can make notes about um, ideas I have. In fact, I need to make notes about an upcoming video series I've been requested to do. Um, <clears throat> I have been waking up in the mornings with my brain full of ideas so I can sit here and make notes. Um, while I'm having my morning coffee, um, but it's just nice to just come here and just sit in the corner. Um, so I hope that you have a place like that in your art room, your creative space, however big or small it may be. And if you don't, I hope you can make one. Um, for you, maybe it is the, the chair at your work table or your desk. Um, maybe that's the perfect relaxing, comfy nook for you. For me, this, this chair is great. I have a chair and a footstool. I'll, I'll show you in a minute. I also want to tell you that if you're trying to figure out your creative journey and how you want to be creative and if you want to be creative, um, maybe this will help you. I wrote a uh, workbook um, 
quite a while ago with my thoughts in it. It's available on Amazon. I'll put it down below. The caption on the back says, do you want to have a more creative, self-expressive life? So do I. Here are some things I use to keep myself on track. They work for me. Who knows? Maybe they'll work for you. Um... Wow, this is page 47 in my book. Life's, life is a journey that should be enjoyed. To continue to be creative, we must food for, move forward. Creativity feeds the soul but must be nurtured. A creative life is not always easy. It can be challenging and stressful. The rewards, though, can be enormous. So anyway, my thoughts on things. So maybe this will help. And check out my favorite channels. All of them are down below. I am going to show you what the corner looks like at the moment in all its glory. And um, I've got a basket and a bin out on the floor. I don't know if those are going to help, but we'll see. I think the first thing to do is move some technology out of the corner because I've got, you can see the light uh, right there. I think there's, that doesn't need to be there. All right, let's get to it. I'll be back. My corner right there. And it almost always look like that. It looks like that. Like it's rare that I can actually put my feet on the footstool because there's always stuff on the footstool. So I think we need to start by pulling the majority of it out. And I need to make that an easier place for me to get into and sit down in. Because that's what it's supposed to be. All right, let's get to it. a sewing chest from my husband. He got it for me years and years and years ago. Um, I'm actually wondering if that'll work for the books or something. Let's try it, shall we? Works perfect, oh my god. Sometimes it's not about 
buying a whole bunch of stuff or making super hard decisions. It's just about reorganizing things just a little bit. I put the lights, which I don't need all the time, unless I'm having trouble lighting something that I'm filming in the closet here. And I put that sewing basket, ba um, the sewing trunk back there in the corner. It's got all my books in it. It's open, they're standing up. There's room for the two books that are downstairs. My notebooks are right on top of it. And the, they're off the floor, which I love. Yay. Maybe we can work on that other thing I was thinking of. Okay, hang on. Okay, this bin, kind of my nemesis. It's a bin of paper. Collage images, tissue paper, handmade paper. Some of it I love and want to keep. Others like this book that I just threw on top. I've had this for like three years or something. And it's got some cool images in it. I've never used a single one. Right away I can tell you it's gotta go. I, I there's so much in here that I just I even forget what's in here. My water is do I do I need to keep all of it? I I don't know, you guys. There's vintage patterns in here. I forgot those were in here. I mean, I don't know, you guys. Let's pull everything out. Let's see what we can do. I don't know. This is this is one of those. Bins. I have a lot of books and stuff I pull from too and painted papers. They're separated and sorted and I do use them, not all the time, but I do use them. But this bin, like yesterday I was filling up one of my drawing bags and that was the first time I'd been in this bin in like a year. So, yeah, anyway. Uh, let's pull things out, I guess, a clump at a time. Uh, okay, this is some tissue I was gifted or bought, all of this. And I do love this tissue paper, so I do think I'm gonna keep it for the most part. There might be a couple in here that I don't love so much, but okay, like this one. It's not really my thing. That one's gonna go. I don't know about that one. Also not sure about this one. Or this. I like the gold dots, which is why I have so much of it. You know, it's not about getting rid of a whole bunch of stuff. It's just about making sure that you have what you have you're going to keep and use. So, I, I don't need this. I do like the art tissue. Although, obviously, I haven't used it in a long time, so let's put this in the maybe pile. You guys, I forgot how much of this I had. <clears throat> Mulberry papers. Loads of handmade papers. <clears throat> this is something I've um, rarely been able to get rid of because I really love handmade paper. But I can tell you right now that one doesn't appeal. So that's going to go. Beautiful papers, but I don't think so. Hmm. 
Yes, Holly Hobby wrapping paper. <laughs> If I sound funny to you guys, well, you know, my asthma has been at it again, probably because, you know, spring is almost here. <clears throat> at least I hope so. These are painted um, um, dryer sheets that I did. I did them. I've never used them. Um, yeah, they're going to go. Painty papers. Not a big fan of the glitter. And I do have a painty papers bin, so the, these don't even need to be in here, to be honest. They should be in the painty papers bin. So those are completely in the wrong bin. Because I forgot they were down here. Okay, let me keep all that. All right. I... Okay. I really love this this paper. So uh, we're gonna keep it. I have a lot of it, I know, but I love it. Okay, these are, I think, paint skins. Uh, paint skins or homemade washi tape or both. Oh, or, or hot glue, embellishments. This is all gonna, it's gonna go. I don't need it. I don't need to keep it. I'm not using it. I, I made it, it was fun to make, but then I never used it on anything. And what's this one? Paint skins. Even some metallic ones. Yep, they gotta go. And this one. More paint skins. Yep, more paint, paint skins. Gotta go. I remember making this. Um, look at this. That's resin. So it's funny, my fa most favorite pieces ended up in this book. Funny, not funny. This used to be an old ledger book. And back in the day when I first started making homemade washi, it went in here. But, so this should go downstairs. One of you all gifted that to me. That should go downstairs into my drawing bag. And probably this one too. Yeah. Because I'll use them down there. Keeping them up here does nobody any good. I think a lot of this has got to go. I'm going to pull out a few things that I know you all have gifted me and put them in my downstairs drawing bag, and I think the rest of it, I mean, yeah, it's got to go. Okay, now oh, we have collage images and oh, more collage images. Um, holy cow. I do think I'm going to hang on to, do I want to hang on to these? Yeah, I mean, I do like to use pattern tissue in some of my work. Um, and I think I'll keep that. So let's put this back in the basket before we do anything else. Okay. Now, I do have a couple of old vintage books 
that honestly are out on a cabinet because there's no place else for them, but I pull papers from them to collage with, with occasionally, and they probably ought to be in here. We're also gonna pull the label off the basket because what's in here is gonna change a little bit. So let me go get the books. Look at the books. So I have an old hymnal. Some of these may have belonged originally to my grandmother, um, and I haven't pu actually pulled any pages out yet, but they are literally falling apart, um, like this one. Uh, yes, I'm Italian-American. This is an old dictionary. Trigonometry. Trigonometria. It's from the thrift store. I, I get a lot of these from the thrift shops. Um, okay, this one we're going to set aside. This is an old bank book. And my grandmother, she kept all... Renato Bronzini was my grandfather. She kept... Like, this is how you find her books. This is how you know her books. So we'll put that one aside. Here's another one I think was from her. Um, yeah, that's her handwriting. Yeah, Jenny Bronzini. This is a vintage hymnal. And country living. No, sorry, country home. And American magazine. So I'm going to put these with my other books from my grandmother. The rest of these can live in this basket. Now, oh yeah, yeah, you guys, I'm so tempted to just get rid of all of this. I just don't use collage that way anymore, and I just... I mean, this is all this is all jewelry and lighting. When I do use images, I use smaller images like this. I don't I don't use big images often, so I'm tempted to pull out some of these smaller ones, just literally just handfuls, and then let go of the rest and not even look. Just, it's too much, you guys. And I've had a, I've had most of these for so long. And I know you're all like screaming, no. You know what? If you want some of them, let me know. Oh, blueprints. Oh, let's save those. I love a good blueprint. Okay. See, more small. We'll keep the small ones. And I'll keep them out because that's the only way they're going to ever get used. Keep the little ones, including the prayer card that's from one of my grandmother's books. Oh, or from one of my mother-in-law's books. Marie Moeller was my husband's grandmother. And what's this one? Oh, see, this might be the exception. This is skulls and stuff. I love skull. Well, maybe it's not the exception. Maybe I keep these. I mean, again, I haven't used these. They've been sitting here collecting dust. They're gonna go. And then this, this is just people. <laughs> this is just people. Well, besides what's in this. Now this is, this is small people. This is, yeah, so this is small stuff. So I think what I'm gonna do, those ones I wanna keep, I'm gonna put them in here. Oh, 
guys, it's too much. I think I just grabbed some handfuls. Put them in here. And the rest of this has got to go. I'm going to save the box. I'll use it for something else, but I think that's it. I'm going to save this. A little bit brutal, but there you have it. We have time. Do you want to do one more category? Neither of these last two categories are related to my comfy re reading corner, but that was so easy and so successful that... Yeah, let's go through one more category. Okay, they don't even all fit on camera. Um, I keep all my stamps this way. I have four of these plastic trays, which are, were originally from Target, just full of art foamies. Now, I can tell you right now, I can just put these back in the closet because they're not going anywhere. I designed for art foamies, and I have my own. I have KPs. I have a number of other designers. They are a really good stamp. Um, and I will put a link to art foamies down below. I did have a little bit of a looks like a paint leak but anyway I keep my buddies in one of these with the foamies and yeah these can go back these aren't the issue those are okay so let's put these back and let's look at these bins needs to stay if only for sentimental sake this one because it's full of stamps I designed uh, for rubber moon back in the day um, they're no longer available unless I suppose I could do a special order but that's got to stay now I can't as you can see fit them all in there because these two are full and the other ones have art foamies. Have I used any of these in the last two years? No. All right, you guys. I can, so, um, yeah, boy. These are some gothic people, some blueprint stamps. These are like Paper pattern, math equation. I love the I love this little guy. I guess he his little tag fell out, but it's a little voodoo doll. He's so cute. I haven't used him though. But let's see if there's something in here I can get rid of so I can maybe keep the ones I like. I've got some botanicals. What's this one? A poppy. A butterfly, flowers. Oh, you guys, this is going to be hard. Handwriting. Oh, I remember this one. I haven't used that in a million years. That one either. It's a math. Hopefully you can see these. Because, you know, it would be handy if I did that. This is a math one. What is this one? Oops. <clears throat> so this one has some Tracy Bautista stamps in it, which honestly, they, I, I like her work. Don't get me wrong. I'm not doing this because I dislike her work or anything, but I don't use them. 
The other is full of KP stamps. Now, I do love these, so I'm going to keep these, and we're going to keep them in here. But I think the Tracy Bautista ones can go. can go. Oh, you guys. <coughs> Coffee splatters. Handwriting and webbing. Okay, so if I have this one with writing on it and stuff, I don't need two of those. Where'd the other one go? Or I'm already losing track. Here. Oops. What's this one? These are indigo blue, by the way, and I love indigo blue stamps. I do think I'm going to keep those. I'm going to let that one go. I'm going to keep that one and keep that one. This is indigo blue, Mike Deacon for indigo blue. Keeping that. I don't need to keep that one. But now I have a free case and I can put these in here. Yay! Another mic decan. I love this one. It's like sand dollars. Oh, and here's another one I really love. Skulls. I need to use some of these more because, you know... I don't even know where that, where that one came from. A couple too many stamps in that box. We're going to keep those. Um, no, no. Keeping this one. I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to keep this. I just like them. So these people, I like and I collected quite a few of them. But I never use Daniel Torrenti. I never use them. I've got three different containers of his stamps. I'm gonna let these go. Yeah, this whole pile is gonna, gonna go. I'm gonna keep my little voodoo doll guy. I, I really like him. Um, I like the style of all of these. Well, at least those. Yep, those. This has some fairies in it. Well, I think I'm going to let those go. Um, 
Um, okay, big big red poppy and yeah, I like that one. Look at that one. I'm gonna let those go. Okay. <clears throat> you guys, one is empty. And all these blueprint stamps. These are Tim Holtz blueprint stamps. I haven't used them in a very long time. Does that mean I wanna get rid of them? I am not sure about that. It's not about, you know, I have to get rid of it, because no, you don't. Um, it's just about, um, clearing up the clutter and not keeping stuff that you're never gonna use. Why have it take up space if you're never gonna use it? So I'm thinking I'm going to keep my blueprint stamps. I have one of my stamps. I'm going to put it in the front. I think for the moment, nope, you know what? I'm going to let these go. I think, and I have these souvenir stamps of Oregon, which are cute. Um, I don't remember where I got them. And it has a little Japanese... I think that says Gina on it, I think, or something like that. I'm going to keep that because I like that. Wow, you guys. Okay, we'll put these back in the closet. As usual, I started this video wanting to just do a little chit chat and maybe show you all my corner, maybe fix a couple things in the corner. I did not think there was going to be a lot of purging today, but holy cow, I have an entire box of stuff. Ay, ay, ay. By the way, if you're local, you'd like to pick it up, you want me to ship it to you, you're going to have to pay shipping. That might be too expensive. But anyway, let me know, PM me, email me, something. Anyway, okay, let's get our book out. We can cross off some more things and have another little chat. I didn't expect that to go that way. I really didn't. I know I say that all the time, but I really didn't. Okay. This is my crazy notebook. Someday somebody's gonna look at it and go, what the hell? All right, collage. We did collage stuff. We did stamps. We did the books, because that was a big thing, the books. Um, yeah, I think we're good. So for my stamps and collage materials, again, I stick to the bin method or drawer method. I relegate myself to a confined space and then when it gets to be too much, like it was with the collage materials, and or I haven't gone in there forever, then I need to use some up, get rid of some things, do some purging before I can add anything to it or, of course, change it to something else. Um, if I didn't do that, I would just keep everything, and I wouldn't have any space in my art room to relax or to create for that matter. It just wouldn't happen. Um, so if you're having trouble making space, keeping space, and having a nice calming workflow in your art room, um, you know, try some things that I've shown you um, in my art room. Make space. I know in my old art room, and I had this conversation with someone not long ago, um, in my old art, old art room it was 10 by 10. So instead of spreading out, I spread up. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. And um, I had shelves that went up. Um, I had a lot more stuff than I do now um, there, but um, 
I was able to make it fit and make it work and it made me happy. Um, in my older videos, in the blue room, that's the art room I'm talking about. The closet was full. We took the doors off and had it um, floor to ceiling shelves so that I could um, put a lot of stuff there. I had shelves under my table and I had shelves on the walls going up, the ce up to the ceiling. Um, and that worked for me. And before I was doing mixed media, it was full of sewing and sewing patterns. So, you know, I'm sure you can make it work with the space that you have. The other thing is you don't need to go out and buy a whole bunch of brand new fancy furniture. Um, of course, if you have the budget for it and you want to do that, cool. But, and I recommend something like Ikea. Um, but um, you could thrift for it. Um, I, I mean, you saw me. I took a little break. I turned off the camera. I went into the other closet in the guest room. And I looked up and there was that sewing trunk. It works perfect. And I already had it. I spent no money on it. Yes, would a table that's like up to here be nice, but do I need it? No. The trunk works great. I can see the books. I can grab the books. It's perfect. So you probably have something that you can make work, um, but you also can look on, um, you know, there's buy nothing groups on Facebook. There's free stuff groups on the internet. Um, Craigslist. If you're in next door, they have a marketplace, and one of the categories in the marketplace is free. There's also, oh, there. If you're in Canada, there's Kijiji, but that's a reselling group. I don't know if they have free. Uh, there's another one I can't think of right now. Trash nothing. There you go. Um, so there's lots of free groups out there. I will try to th list some of them in the video description. So check it out. And. Um, I hope this just gave you some ideas. I just, I tried to be brutal with myself, not you guys. And, you know, some of those stamps I haven't touched since I moved in 2018. They gotta go. If I want scribbly circles on a journal page, I'll just draw them. I mean, you know. So anyway. Take a second look at your stash, see what you can do. If you need help fixing the flow in your art room, I hope these videos help. If you have questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. If you want personalized help and you're a patron over in Patreon, just message me because you can get that, not a problem. And we can have a uh, live Facebook chat or a video phone call or something, and I can help you as much as I can give you some advice, give you some encouragement. If you're not a patron and you'd like to have that, think about joining. And you also get to support the free content here on YouTube, which I, which I appreciate. You have your own private YouTube channel. Um, you have a private Facebook group and um, monthly posts from me with free stuff in them. So yeah. All right. That's it for the moment. Above all, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye guys.